Hey guys, it's Lex, and I don't have a whole lot of time today, but I did get something in the mail, so I wanted to show you guys Powerful Pack. So let's see what we have inside. I've already like cut the tape and everything so I can get into it quickly. All right, first we have all this trash. Oh no, my trash can's full. I don't know where I'm gonna put all this. Trash, trash, trash. Okay, let's see. Let's just dig into it in the box and see what we have. Okay, first we have a little dish. Watercolor cup is what it says. I love watercolors, so hopefully that's what we've got. Let's see, an art crayon. Art crayon in white. I believe I got one of these in a, another package a couple of weeks ago. I got a green one. So this is a white one. Open. Open. And you can twist them so you get some more color. Whoop, there we go. Twist them <laughs> or twist them down. And they are um, pretty soft to write with. And you can use them like uh, in water too. I guess that might be what our little dish is for. So we'll see what we do with that. And oh, we have more art crayons and more colors. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if we can get this open. Well, that's what always happens, isn't it? Wait, let me look at the back to see if we need anything. Oh, it tells us the colors. Number 13, orange. Number 123, chili. Number 124, pomegranate. Number 33, pink. I'm going to keep this to the side just in case. Open! See, it's like you have to double open them because you have this awful card that they come on and then they also come in plastic. So you have to double open them. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Okay, and now we will open the plastic. If you guys don't know how to open stuff like this, you just twist the top of it and then it, the plastic comes right off, usually. Okay, this one is, does it say the color on it? Orange, 113, I'm sorry, 013, 013 orange, yes. It does say the color on it. This one is one, two, three, chili. This one is rose pink. On the package, it just said pink. This says rose pink, that makes it fancier. Open, there we go. And this one is the pomegranate. See, that one's a really pretty color. I like that. You guys probably can't see it there. <laughs> okay. We have another one and in the black. Make sure it says black. Yes, black noir. I'm gonna get tired of opening these. <laughs> I feel like this whole box is full of them. Oh, oh, oh. A little bit came off the edge here. Let's just take that off. This is gonna be cool to have so many colors. Be excited to make something with it. Let's go over here. 
Oh, <laughs> more of them. <laughs> okay. They are really into the art crayons this this month. In February is art crayon month. And it's doing the exact same thing as the other one did, of course. Okay, that's great. There we go. Ooh, these are pretty. These are really pretty. Green is my favorite color. Um, usually like a lime green which this one looks lime green. Or pretty close. It says kiwi on it. This one is kiwi. You can see that. Pretty close to the, my favorite color. Got pretty yellow here. This one is called Sunshine Yellow. This color I'm excited about because I love blue-greens. I love a lot of colors. <laughs> My favorite color is definitely lime green, but I love blue-greens a lot. This one is called Aqua Green. You can see that one. Oh, I really, really like that one. Then our next one, this one's called Apple. I don't think I've actually opened up every single one of them and showed you guys. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we'll swatch them though. I've got time to swatch them. I'm watching the clock here. <laughs> to make sure that I'm keeping up with the time. It is actually Valentine's Day right now, so that's why I've got plans, and I'm trying to make sure that I... Ooh, 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 a brush. Ooh, Princeton Select round number six. <laughs> I'm so weird. I like, like petting the brushes because they're so soft when you first get them. They're actually usually always soft, especially like, like do you guys have any of these, these black velvet brushes? Like these, I could just rub on my face all day. Mm, okay, you can't see that, but I could just rub these on my face all day because they're made of squirrel hair. <laughs> okay, let's pick this up. <gasps> we've got paper, we've got paper. Ready cut water pa blah, blah, water paper, ready cut watercolor paper, cold press, 10 sheets, 8 by 10, 140 pound by Strathmore, standard size, I can't talk today, I swear, standard size sheets for ready made frames and mats, cool, so, okay, that seems to be all of it, oh wait, actually got our menu in here, but that seems to be all of it. So I'm going to leave all the, the trash in the box and get the box out of the way. I oh, had a rogue trash. Okay, so here's all of our art crayons. We have lots of colors and I'm very excited about it because I love colors so much. I love all the colors. When they send an art supply that's just like two colors or something like that or or when people do the two color challenge I'm just kind of like uh, I don't know how I would even do that because I want to use so many colors in things and even like I have this coloring book that's a, a mandala coloring book and it's so intricate and everything but I just want to use every color that I have when I when I color them. Like I'll use um, my Prismacolor uh, pencils or I'll use my um, Blick markers or but every time I do it I don't want to do like one color scheme. There's a couple that I've 
I've asked my boyfriend, I'm like, what color should I use? And he'll be like, green. So I try to use all the greens just in that one mandala. But um, I really like just using all the colors and making everything really colorful. So, bleh. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Marabou Art Crayon 5 Color Sets. Art Crayon is a buttery smooth wax-based soft pastel in a sturdy, fully loaded retractable holder with an ergonomic grip and a clear protective cap. A versatile medium that's suitable for a variety of fine art and mixed media work. Art crayons work well on raw or primed surfaces such as paper, canvas, fabric, or wood. Create rich textural solids at 100% blend and stamp colors for beautiful backgrounds. What? Stamp colors for beautiful backgrounds. Or brush with water for transparent effects or reductive techniques like wipe stenciling. I don't know what wipe stenciling is. Um, they're $14.99 for a package, and the black and white ones were $3.99 each. And let's see, plastic water cup. Ready to blend your art crayons with water. Fill up this cup with a little water, and you're ready to go. I have lots of water over here. Hang on. Here, we'll do what they say. Even though I've got lots of water cups on my desk, and a, just on a regular basis. You guys like watching this? This is just prime entertainment, isn't it? Okay, let's watch these suckers. There's so many. How many did I get? 12? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10? 10? 10? Oh, there were, yeah, there are four in each package, not five. So I've got the water here. Use our brush. I guess it's a watercolor brush. Did it say? Hold on. We didn't look at the, the description for that. Princeton Artist Select Brush. This high quality short handled brush is made to last. With its Robin's Egg Blue colored handle, this will be a beautiful addition to your existing brush collection as they go above and beyond many other brushes on the market. MSRP $5.95. Oh, we've got prompts. Week number one, Jealous. No. Week number two, Wrapped. Week number three, new. Week number four, romantic. I feel like week number this week should be romantic because it's Valentine's Day. Okay. Let's check out this paper. Is it in sheets? Yeah, let me just get one sheet out. And we're gonna swatch everything. And then I probably am not gonna have time for anything else, but I do wanna swatch it. And then we'll put some water on it too to see what the water does to it. Let's see. This paper's pretty nice. It feels nice. It feels nice. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with, this is rose pink. It's so smooth to write with, but you use so much of it when you're just putting it straight down on the paper like this. So let's see, Whoop. go over there, go over there, go over there, stay over there. Okay, one problem is look what they do, they roll. Stay over there, stay. Use some water on it to see what it does. Oh, it does mix it around pretty nice. Well, there's still texture on it from the from the watercolor paper. There's still texture in the background. But I can see maybe putting this down on a palette. Let's get one out. Maybe putting this down in a palette. And using it from the palette. Oh, that's dirty. <laughs> Hang on. I don't have it got so much junk in it. Okay. Okay, let's do this with the one that I like a lot. This is aqua green. So we're gonna put some down here. 
also put it on here. Gosh, that's pretty. Okay. Put a little bit more down. And add some water to, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> add some water to it. There's a lot of noise going on outside my apartment. Oh, oh, oh. That's because it's a package for me. Okay. <laughs> he sounds upset. <laughs> Did you? I wonder if you guys could hear that. <laughs> okay. Hang on just a minute while I get that. <laughs> Move, Finn. Finn, come here. Move out of the way. Okay, I'm back. So in case you guys are wondering, I like to order stuff from Amazon a lot because I don't like going to the store because I don't like seeing people. Um, <laughs> so I got these really, these two really big boxes and I didn't know what they were and it ends up that they're for my boyfriend. So I don't, I still don't get to know what they are yet. But I also got some um, really random things like I got some gloves for my hands, like just white cotton gloves for my hands. Because I put this um, like softening stuff on my hands at nighttime a couple of times a week. And then you have to put gloves over your hands and you sleep in it basically. And then I got some for my feet too. I got some gel socks. I don't know if you've ever heard of gel socks. I haven't heard of gel socks. But we're going to try them and see if they make my feet soft. Because I have a thing about wanting everything to be soft. Because I'm weird. And I just want to be like that. Anyway, <laughs> so this is that color. What color was it? Blue green, bluish green. It's called aqua green. Okay, this is a gorgeous color and I love it. Okay, now we're going to try out apple, which is actually, I think, the color that I got in a, was it a scrawler box? I think it was a scrawler box that I got. Um... Okay, let's try this again. So when I put it down over here, it didn't actually, you can see, oh, ow, ow, ow. it's kind of, it's kind of a little bit flaky in there and it doesn't put down a lot of color, but if you want it to be really transparent, then that's a good way to do it. I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to put down a lot more of it, especially since I have another one of these. Ooh, and it's getting the crayon wet. Okay. So let's see what we can do with this. Where's my hair? I'll just use this spray bottle. I've got spray bottles everywhere. Okay, so first, here is the green on the paper, the apple on the paper. As you can see, it still has a little bit of um, texture. I don't know if you can see it actually. It still has a little bit of texture underneath it when I, when I water it down, but you can bring it out like this and you don't have any of that texture underneath it except just what's, what the paper is. So let's mix this up a little bit. I put down at least twice as much as I did of the, the green blue color. Okay, now let's see. That's way better, actually. That turned out way better than the, the top one up here did. Cool. Not really sure what to do with these. Um, let's just keep swatching. Here's a white. The paper is a little bit off-white, so you can see that just a little tiny bit. You guys might not be able to on the camera. Here is the orange. Very, very pretty. Here is the chili color. Let's see how it compares to the orange. Oh, it's very much redder. It's a lot redder. It's funny though, because the, the barrel of the chili color looks orange, but then it looks red when you put it down. This one is kiwi. So pretty, I love it. 
This one's gorgeous too, pomegranate. I'm gonna love this color. Yes, gorgeous dark red. Can you guys see it? Sorry, I'm out of frame almost. I just don't have the room on my desk. I really need to clean up my desk. Okay, you can see that now. Pomegranate, pomegranate. I need to try that with the, with the water. See how that looks. Oh, it's so pretty. It's really pretty dark red. And we have a yellow. This is sunshine yellow. I guess that's what we could do with it here. And then the black. For a smiley face inside the sunshine. <laughs> Okay, well, you guys, if you've used this art supply before, let me know in the comments, please, and tell me what to do with them, because I'm not really sure what to do with them, and I need a good idea. So I could make another video using these supplies and um, making something really pretty. So um, give me some ideas in the comments below if you don't mind. And another thing is, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. And I've reached actually 51 subscribers at the time I'm filming this. And it really means a lot to me. I've only been filming for, or putting up YouTube videos for about three months now. And I've been watching that, that number grow just little by little every, every week. And finally I'm up to 51. And I feel like 50 is like a milestone that I hit. So I really appreciate it. And I'm really thankful for you guys and that you're watching and that you want to see what I'm doing. And hopefully I'll get a little bit less timid about my artwork because I haven't really done much of my actual artwork on this on this channel yet and I really want to but I'm a little bit timid about it and um, I have horrible anxiety about like doing something terrible and you guys being like why are we watching this girl she sucks but anyway hopefully pretty soon I'll get a little bit less scared and I'll I'll do some some of my own artwork for you and you'll be able to see it instead of just like unboxings and stuff even though I know you guys like unboxings too especially if if you're anything like me you love unboxings I love them I love watching the unboxings and everything so anyway I really appreciate you guys watching and I I appreciate the 51 subscribers and I hope you guys keep watching and I'll try to keep making content that gets better and better for you okay bye